Hi everyone. Wish you all a happy weekend hope that you'll enjoy our videos. Some people have asked us why we bother sculpting characters from clay instead of using a 3D printer. It's because we love to take part in the process of transforming it from ordinary clay to a fascinating diorama, and we also believe that there are others who enjoy the procedure like us. Afterward, we will use specialized software to turn it into drawings for mass production. However, in this video, I'll be drawing a giant octopus on the computer right from the start. Let's go! If you haven't known it yet, we are a studio specializing in making home decors from epoxy resin, and 3D printers have helped us a lot, they are absolutely useful tools. Take a look at our website AmazingTiranGX.com to explore our creations. If there are any items that you're interested in, place an order. We would appreciate your support. Rather than making a complete octopus, I'll make its body part separately to create the effect of it rising from underwater. This video is inspired by the legend of some maritime communities in Southeast Asia. They believe in a sea deity that governs their habitat, provides food, and protects them, but also punishes them if they commit any wrongdoings. In my imagination, I want to depict this deity in the form of a giant octopus, also referred to as the Kraken. This is the part that my colleagues and I really enjoy creating, makeshift houses. We make these house models using wooden sticks and thin cardboard. Have you ever traveled to Southeast Asia? Countries here like Vietnam, Indonesia, and Thailand, have breathtaking landscapes. I've traveled to some fishing villages there. Small and humble they are, yet really impressive. In some places, they paint these houses in vibrant and eye-catching colors, and I love that. These houses do have their own charm, don't they? Now, I'll start painting them.
Can't forget to add some plants, I love greenery. I also made a small clay dog, but unfortunately, I forgot to film the process. I was looking for the footage like a crazy man just to find out that I didn't press the record button. Silly me. I'm sad. If you'd like to cheer me up, visit our website amazingtirungx.com and take a look at our creations. Thank you. My friend had made a DIY mold using plywood and acrylic. I'll spread sand at the bottom of the mold and place the octopus parts there. Now, it's time for the houses. Then, we'll pour epoxy resin and wait for it to dry. If you're new to epoxy resin, keep in mind to choose a high viscosity type, it will help you pour thicker layers. For this diorama, I poured epoxy resin about 12 centimeters thick, and it took me three pours to achieve that thickness. Quite time consuming, isn't it? It's the final step in the process of creating this diorama. I've asked my friend to create water wave patterns on the surface of the epoxy resin block. When light shines on, the sea creature underneath will sparkle even more.